Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I've got to issue an upfront warning on this one. If you are not prepared to have your mind absolutely blown, then turn off now. This is not the video for you. If you are not sitting back and waiting for an absolute mind explosion, and probably the best thing that Raid is going to get for the whole of 2022, switch off. Yeah, I legit feel like this is going to be the best possible update for 2022 for Raid Shadow Legends. Fact. Uh, and off the back of it, there's going to be a whole bunch of better stuff again. Like, I'm super psyched for what's coming. So this is going to be the team suggestion update for the Optimizer. It is a cracker. It is absolutely nuts like i can't even get over how crazy it is when we first talked about this uh what probably three or four months ago and kind of said this is the vision um i felt like it, it was like a real stretch it was like yeah look this is what we'd love but uh appreciate we probably won't get there well pretty much we've nailed got there is we have got there and some uh, and it's going to set us up for a really fun 2022 because with team sharing team suggestions we can actually launch, probably in the next couple of months, live tournaments. Like live interactive player versus player tournaments like we should have in Raid. We can actually make that stuff happen once we kind of build out the UIs and stuff. So it's super exciting. A um, couple of things I will call out right now. This is a tool which is used for Windows-based machines playing player and play to play Raid. We do not have the capability of building an app for a phone. Um, or having those kind of integrations between uh, App Store and that type of stuff. We just can't do it. If you can, great, build it, but we can't. Um, so apologies if you just play on your phone. Um, it doesn't work currently on Macs, but it is something we are looking at. But again, that's it's almost like building a whole new system. So if you're a Mac user, there are actually some kind of guides on my Discord where people are using a virtual machine for Macs to use the optimizer on their Macs. Yeah, they basically install a virtual Windows. There's a whole bunch of stuff about this on my Discord. So if you want to do that, feel free. But let's get into the nuts and bolts of this crazy update. So I just want to call out, you know, there's, there's basically three tools in the community right now, which are insane. And I've had a lot of people say to me, I would have stopped playing the game if it wasn't for these. The optimizer is one, and we're going to go through it in detail today. Uh, but I also want to just kind of shout out Deadwood with his clan boss tool. It is absolutely ripped open the possibilities with clan boss and people use it on a day-to-day -day basis and i think a lot of people would stop playing raid without it and fab stuff's um rsl helper damn what a crazy tool that is as well i've done a video on these things previously so i'm not going to go into loads of detail now but i just want to shout it out like these tools support the game we get a lot of grief around you know you're ruining the game with this stuff actually the game takes so damn long to play and they're not doing anything about that. So these tools dramatically reduce the time that people need to spend in game. And, and it actually, for me, it gives you kind of more theory crafting, more fun with Raid. So I hope you find that as well. Now, I'm going to say this, guys. No apologies. I'm going to talk about a couple of the people behind this tool. Okay, no apologies whatsoever for doing so because they are out of their mind insane at this type of stuff. Um, now, the optimizer was a thing, like in the dark depths of github um about probably 14 15 months ago i found it i found it with a couple of friends and um started talking to datich who is still the lead developer of the optimizer same dude yeah he had less than 100 people using the tool but it kind of functionality it kind of worked but compared to what it is today not even close to the same tool Okay, we now have over 90,000 people that have used it. And on a monthly basis, we get about 40,000 regular users. So massive shout out to the Teach for the vision of getting this thing moving. We've got the Teach, who is still lead developer and kind of building out these new systems. We've got Winston Wolf, who actually came to us with an enhanced version of our own optimizer, but basically using your GPU to empower it. So now there's kind of two optimizers that are used depending on whether you've got a GPU on your a uh, laptop or PC or not uh, that can support it. And then since then, we've also now got Safira, part of HH Gaming as well, who does a lot of the UI stuff. And you'll notice in today's update, there's a ton of UI updates which just look 
banging. They look so good. Okay, so this video, I'm actually going to talk you through the optimizer in total, but I will bookmark sections for you to kind of ping to the bits that you want. What I would say though, if you are not an expert in the optimizer, you're just kind of casually using it, watch the whole thing. You will be. You, you won't believe what it could already do before this update that you don't know about, okay? There was already a ton of stuff that people didn't know about. And it's like, oh man, you, why don't you know that yet? Because you don't watch these type of videos all the way through. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally do a deep dive on the optimizer. And then the team suggestions bit will be bookmarked. If that's all you wanna see, get to that. But that's gonna come later. We're gonna do some of the basic stuff first. So firstly, get the optimizer. Come to hellhades.com, the website. Uh, you need to be some form of member. You can be a free member. It is a free tool, but there are upgrades for paid members. Anything from un uncommon and above, there's quite a lot of perks, and I'll go through those today as well. So once you're a member, you're logged in, go to the optimizer. This is the same for every time it updates, by the way. Go to optimizer page, just click it, and then if you click home and download the archive, then you will get the latest version of the optimizer. That's the easiest way, I'd say, of updating the optimizer each time. Click on your update and then you extract all. If it's the first time you're doing this, you extract all into a new folder. I would just put it on your desktop, uh, but extract it into your folder called Optimizer. Select the folder. If you're just updating, do exactly the same thing. Hit extract. And what it will do is it'll find a load of things that are the same, replace those files, and then bam, it's going to replace all of those files into this new folder, or sorry, the old folder. And then you just double click the one with the icon here in the extractor application, click more info, run anyway. And that is basically it. You've updated. It's like a 10 second, whatever uh, thing to do. Okay. We then, uh, there's a couple of things to talk about on this little tool. If you've got live updates clicked like this, then you are feeding your teams, your comps into the team suggestion box, which we'll go over later in the video, but it also will update um, if you're upgrading gear, so it will, it will constantly kind of reping your gear and info. Um, so if you don't want to do that, you unclick and uh, it'll go away. If you're using the GPU version of the optimizer, this tool has to be open for the whole time that you're using the optimizer. Okay. Once you've done that, you click upload to website. As long as you've got Plarian Play running, not Blue Stacks, has to be Plarian Play um, running RAID, then you'll get to this page. And this now is your info. This is all your stuff, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of work through the optimizer, what's going on. This is just a home page. Anytime there's an update, you'll get info on here. Live refresh, you click this if you want it to kind of ping a new look of your champions, if you've done stuff, if you've ascended people, whatever, re-geared people, hit live refresh, and it will just basically do the same as what the tool just did to upload it onto the page. So let's get into champions. Champions is the first kind of big one. Um, that we've had for a while, but there's some cool stuff in this section. So champions, any of your champions can be locked or unlocked, yeah? So if you lock them, it means the optimizer will not try and take any gear off of that champion ever, unless you tell it to. And there are some settings which I'll show you a bit later, but locking or unlocking um, basically means the optimizer will not look onto that champion for gear. Now, it will also do one other thing from today. It will also not look for that champion when you're looking for team suggestions, okay? So that champion, you're basically saying, they're already part of a team. I don't want to re-gear them. I don't want to touch them. I don't want anyone else to, to take any of their gear. So as long as they're locked, it won't be part of your team suggestion page, okay? There's a couple other things like on the champion page, you can see if I've put an icon on them in the game, the icon shows here. So if you've got multiple versions of a champ, you can see which one is which. Um, there's also some stuff down here on the filtering. So if you want to filter out, you know, just look at anyone who's 50 to 60 in terms of levels, you can do that. It'll just kind of uh, cull the rest out of your lists. If you want to look for um, people with a certain role, so defense-based champions, for example, you can click there. Uh, this is one that people don't know exists. If you want to look for specific champions for like a secret room, yeah? So you might be like, I want defense based. I need um, epic champions for a secret room, but I specifically want someone who does AOE drop defense. Um, so I'm looking for, let me just find it, decrease defense. 
These are all the skills in the game, yeah? Decreased defense. 60%. Bam. These are all my champions that do a decreased defense. So actually, at the moment, we don't have it broken by AoE or not. We need to, we need to update that because we should do that. But this will give me all of the champions on my list that have got that specific skill. So if you're just looking for, you know, who have I got perhaps, you know, lurking in the vault that can do jobs for me for secret rooms, this is actually a good place to filter whatever you want. It's always good. Whenever you've kind of finished with stuff like this, just hit reset filter. It just refreshes it right back to the start. Um, you can also look to see, have I got any champions that are partially geared or fully geared, not geared, but partially geared is a good one. So I'll be like, oh damn, my Venus is missing boots. I can just go in, put some boots on her. She's back, good to go again. Yeah, so that's actually quite a nice one to play around with if you're looking to complete your account. Um, you can look at uh, who's got full masteries, again, partial masteries. Uh, is there anyone that I kind of started masteries on but didn't finish? And I could be like, right, what did I need to do? Uh, I guess I've got one more mastery to do on by Stoffers here. And uh, again, you can just kind of filter it quickly rather than kind of flicking through everybody in the game. Um, let's reset again. The other thing which is quite cool here is you can just go. Uh, show me all of my locked champions. Show me all the locked ones. Especially if I'm about to do a big change, a big kind of re gear of something. I'll be like, right, do I need to now unlock one of these because I don't use them anymore in the way that I used to use them before? Yeah, so I can just literally go through and just say, all right, unlock, unlock uh, if I want to. Okay. The other thing you can do here, although it's probably less relevant now, we've got the faction guardians thing, but I could just be like, show me my duplicates. And you can just see how many dupes you've got of different champs. So that's the champion page. Uh, you get onto the point where it's like, right, now I want to gear someone, one champion on their own. From the champion page, you can just use the search filter here. So I might be like, yeah, I want to gear Kaimar. And then I can pick, right, which Kaimar do I want? Uh, grab this one that's not locked. And it takes me on to the kind of gearing page. So from this page, uh, I can see what they're already wearing behind me here. Uh, I can go in and see what what stats they've got. I can look at uh, their skills. Are they booked or not? What sort of damage do my skills do? Um, you can see the ratings that the website has got on, on the main uh, website, and I can see what masteries I'm currently running. And then I could go into optimize artifacts. Yeah, so from this page, if you're using the GPU optimizer, it will store your last searched stuff on this champion. Yeah, if you're not, then uh, it will just be a blank start. So at this point, I can go, right, let's just go from the top here. Click on Optimizer. You, you choose the one you want to use. If you have got a GPU that, that works and, and is uh, currently um, compatible, use GPU Optimizer. It is the stronger optimizer. Basically, the improved Brute Force Optimizer looks at about the best 10 items per slot when it filters it down. Yeah, so it might miss some of your gear. The GPU Optimizer looks at like the best 100 items per slot. It's vastly more powerful because it's using your, the power of your machine, okay? So GPU Optimizer is the stronger of the two. Um, going to stats here, you're basically choosing what stats do you want for your champions. There's a few different optimizer goals. You can either say, I want a balanced build. Balanced is generally, I'm looking for a specific stat. That's what I would suggest. So let's say you want to make your Kaimar, um, a certain speed, but then have as much accuracy as possible. This is what I would use this one for. So I'd be like, delete the accuracy out. I don't need to put a number in there because it's going to find me the strongest it can. Yeah, and then I'll say, this is the speed I want. This is the crit rate I want. You don't have to put numbers in all of these stuff, just the important ones. And then the balance will find the best gear for that uh, requirement. Hit optimize, and it tells you your different kind of settings. Uh, and then you hit start, and it will just filter through and find builds for that kind of requirement. So I got my crit rate, I got the speed minimum that I wanted, and then it's kind of pulling me out 600 accuracy builds. Yeah, I can just view what the pieces are and where they're coming from. And then I have to actually go and physically uh, equip those in the game. Once you've equipped the pieces you want, you can actually lock from here and lock that champion out and then go and do someone else. Um, but if this wasn't really the build you wanted in the end, you can actually kind of go back and tweak, or you could go into try some of these other things. So slots, this is basically telling the optimizer which things you want to search for. Now, what I would say is with the other uh, 
pieces here. So you've got balance is the one where you're looking for like a one main stat. Damage is what it says it is. It will find the best damage build for your champion with the requirements you give it. If you've got Savage gear, it knows that Savage ignores defense and it will still find you a combination of either best Savage build or best damage build, depending on what gear you've got. It doesn't matter. So for me, uh, it will generally find me Savage builds because I've got a lot of Savage gear. On my free to play, it doesn't really find me any Savage builds because my Savage gear is crap. Okay, so it knows. Also, you can put in the defense of the enemy you are fighting. So if you know you're fighting arena, you might throw in three and a half thousand defense for the average defender. If you know you're fighting Hydra, well, it depends what level you're fighting, but you can go and find the defense and then be like, damn, I'm up against 7,000 defense or whatever. So there's, there's a kind of uh, ebbs and flows around the gear it will find depending on what enemy you're facing. Um, so yeah, if you're doing a damage build, then again, you want to make sure you always put your 100% crit rate in and then get to the right speed. And that's all you need again. It will find the best damage build based on those two things. You don't need to put anything else in. If it's kicking something back and you're like, yeah, but I do need to actually stay alive, then just clear it, go back into stats and say, yeah, but actually, you know what? Minimum, I need 3,000 defense because otherwise I'm going to be one shot. And that's fair as well. So you tweak it, it will still find you the damage build, but now with that defense number uh, in there as well. So the, the other thing you can do in here is survivability, EHP, the tank build. Yeah, it's a tanky build. Basically, what you're saying is I want maximum survivability. And again, you probably would then uh, decide if you need accuracy or not. Let's say we do. Need 250. I don't need to put defense number in here and I don't need to put health, health in here because it's going to find me the best combination of, of those two together. Okay, put the speed in I want. Now, this will return quite a slow build. It will take a while to find it because survivability looks at tons of your artifacts. Yeah, damage, it's like, I need to look for crit rate, crit damage, uh, attack percent, whatever. It, it hones in really quickly the stuff that you need. Whereas survivability, HP and defense, you've got it on almost all your gear. Okay, so it will take longer. So a tip here, if it's taking you a long time to do builds, is to click slots and just say, you know what? I'm going to put my own ring on. Don't find me a ring, find me everything else. Or you might be like, I know this is the best banner. So I'll find my ring and my banner. And then when I optimize, it will be quick or much quicker. Yeah, see how quick that's come back. High health, high defense is the best combination of the two. And if you're unsure if it's actually doing it right, you can go back to stats and look at your current. Um, or oh, is it not there? Is it not there? Is it not there? Uh, sorry, you can go back to artifacts and look at your EHP. This is your effective health points, which basically means your survivability. And if you hover over the new build, you see where it's gone green next to EHP. That's basically telling me how much more survivability I've got than what I used to have. Yeah, same thing happens actually. This is, this is actually a premium upgrade. But if I went for a damage build here and optimized for damage and clicked on skills, it tells me my current damage based on the gear that I'm wearing. If I hover over, it tells me how much extra damage I would do. So basically, this is a premium upgrade, yes, but it's actually a pretty sexy one. So this says to me, I'm going to do like four times my current damage with this new build. So again, for like your arena nukers, there's actually quite a cool tool. Um, so let's put those back on. The other things that you can do in here, you can say, I want to find specific sets. So you can say, you know what, for my Kaimar, only look at, um, only look at, what's the set called? What's the set called? Perception. <laughs> my brain's like, what are you trying to say? Only look at perception gear uh, and accuracy gear, for example. So I can say one set perception, one set accuracy, and then the final set, whatever you like. Yeah, or you might be with your, um, I don't know, damage dealer, just look at, savage gear you don't need to do that because it already does that with the damage build but a lot of people it's probably more relevant actually if you're like no i definitely want regen gear yeah because regen doesn't kind of fit any of those criteria it will never just find you regen gear unless you tell it to uh, and then we've also now added saf added this um yesterday the different accessories so if you're like but i want um refresh accessories yeah that's my priority so 
Uh, we go back into our build. We've got our build done. I've now given it specifics around um, sets and artifacts if we've got them. And I'll look here and it'd be like, cool, I've got refresh artifacts uh, here. I don't own any, obviously, in the other two. And I've got regen set. Yeah, so if you've only got one refresh artifact for that set, it will just find you the one. Okay. What you could also do from this page is you'd be like, ah, Duchess is in there. I wanted her to be locked. I could lock her from here. I could lock Candy from here. I could come back out, clear it, start again, and then it will not find those pieces. Yeah, you found, see here, I actually found no combinations because I don't own any more refresh. So I hit reset there, optimize again, clear, start. Um, and one of the biggest things we get in terms of people struggling with this is uh, actually newer players who don't have artifacts rolled up. Yeah, so in the option setting here, the default is to include equipped artifacts, which means anyone who's not locked, their gear comes into the mix. Um, the default is to max the primary artifact. So what that means is, it's assuming you're rolling up to level 16 and it'll give you the stats as if it's level 16. Yeah. Uh, and also the minimum artifact level, minimum is eight as a default. So if you haven't got any jewelry items rolled up to eight, it won't find them. It can't complete a build. Similarly there on slots, if you tell, oh, sorry, on sets, if you tell it refresh and you don't have any, it can't complete the build. Yeah. So a lot of the time when people are struggling with stuff, or maybe someone's left regen in like this without realizing it's there and it can't find you the regen set you want. And they're like, I've got loads of gear, but you've forgotten that you put regen on. Yeah, so if it's not finding what you want, my suggestion to you is just to hit reset. Hit reset, it will take you back to a clean slate and then input your data again. If it still doesn't find it, come and comment on the uh, Hell Hades Discord and we help tons of people out every day. So there's a lot of stuff in here. I'll just talk through a couple more options quickly. So include locked artifacts. That basically is quickly turning on. All of the champions you've locked away is now saying, no, use their gear. I don't mind. Use it up. Um, we've got a glyph section here where we're like, um, take all glyphs off. Assume I don't have a single glyph on any item. Um, that's normally good if you're trying to find your fastest possible gear or highest accuracy possible gear for someone. And you're just assuming you're going to glyph everything up later. Yeah, so it might be like a, a plan for a future build. Or what you can do is actually the opposite and say, no, assume everybody, uh, every item is maxed in glyphs and then find my best build. So again, that might be for a damage dealer where you're saying, eventually I'm going to glyph that attack up and I'm going to glyph the speed up or whatever. And it will just glyph everything to max. Uh, we are working on something like a partial uh, glyphage as well, because this probably isn't quite enough. But the default, again, is just whatever's glyphed so far remains glyphed, okay? Um, we've also added down the bottom here this kind of mastery section. So rather than you having to go and change all the masteries in the game, we've got any mastery that affects stats is in here. So I can say, you know what? I'm going to change my uh, masteries on my Kaimar and say, no, I'm going to be going for more attack, uh, crit damage, and then I'm going to put flawless execution on him. Uh, and I'm also going to take Steadfast, for example. And I can now re-optimize based on those new masteries. Therefore, you don't have to change it in-game to see if you're actually going to get the build you want. Once you've got the build you want, you then need to go and physically do all of those changes yourself. Okay? Just over on the left here, artifacts we're currently wearing, stats we've currently got, the skills and damage that they do right now. So, so the level 5 out of 5 is how many books you've got in them. You can click on that skill to to actually tell you what it does if you if you want to uh, it also tells you the multiplier of that steel in terms of damage um you've got the damage count here and then the change will be if you put on a new set of items i think that's pretty much it from the champion page just if you want to um optimize one person at a time i'm going to take you through the artifact page next so again with this page there's a lot more going on than people realize uh, and you can use it really effectively to do some a ton of filtering so again, like right now, if I was looking for something specific, you'll notice I've got Demon Spawn selected. Yeah, I don't know when that was. Whenever I last did something, I was showing something on Demon Spawn. And if I just hit reset filter on this page, it gets me back to a clean view. Yeah, often 
people can't find what they want because they just need to reset back to a clean view um you see the words here this is a premium function premium upgrade basically this is a rating system that me and Safira have fine-tuned along with some of the community basically what it does is the top word is the um the actual rating of that piece right now the bottom word is the potential of that piece and what it's looking at is combinations of stats yeah and it's different for different gear sets so you know if you've got a speed set it values speed higher than any other set if you've got savage gear if it values crit rate and crit damage higher than other sets do if you've got regen gear it values hp higher than uh, other pieces um if you've got uh i don't know other examples accuracy gear it, it values accuracy yeah so it, it understands that certain stats go with certain sets really well um in terms of the rating there's a there's a number in the background that we've kind of just done bandings for but basically what we're looking at here is the combination of the stats together do they make a really strong piece and you'll find that there'll be some godlike pieces which you disagree with look this is a guide it's a support mechanism it is not the be all and end all yeah don't just go to so you can actually um look at rank uh wrong one sorry ranking 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 order by here we go order by worst potential rating yeah I can click this and uh, it will give me my worst stuff at the top this is all this is actually campaign farm stuff what's its potential straight in the bin and what's it ranked right now straight in the bin yeah and i've also got some other stuff here so i've got something uh the savage gloves it's ranked in the bin the best it could ever be is very weak yeah and so on but you might find for your account the one that's weak might be something you still need yeah so don't just look at it and be like uh you know these, these gloves 50 percent crit rate it's got a little bit of crit damage on there a bit of accuracy um and it's weak it's weak for my account it might actually still be useful for you you can go to the top right here and say uh, on account settings you could be like i am actually an early game player it will change the rating value for you i should actually have this set as end game um and it will change the rating value for me now and i'll go back into my artifacts and actually there'll be more stuff now that i should bin off based on an end game account so this is quite a, a cool system uh we're constantly tweaking it if we need to we've added in uh all of the new different gear sets and stuff but some people use it like all of the bin stuff i could just go in there and do a, a gear cleanse myself getting rid of a load of this trash uh, but do apply own brain as well like this one here the shield set piece 50 percent health with a bit of speed on it bit of defense i'd argue for a shield set it's actually probably a little bit better than in the bin so don't always just take it at face value it's running off a bunch of algorithms in the background and clearly um you know I, it's not it's not me looking at every single indi individual piece that you've got and giving you a rating it's algorithms yeah so just use it as a guide not as the the be all and end all um there's a bunch of other stuff you can do in this artifact page so i could say just show me speed gear and then i could say order by speed so i could put my absolute fastest stuff at the top uh and know you know what what's my strongest pieces for a speed build for example um but what's quite cool as well is you could say but once you found me the fastest stuff i then want to see the stuff with the most accuracy on it yeah, so it might be like i want a, a fast dude that's going to be doing my debuffs like a decreased defense champ and then what it will do is it will start to combine those things together so boots are obviously the fastest things you're going to own but it'll throw your highest accuracy boots of that set to the top yeah i could take it off speed and just say in general what's my best uh speed boots with my best accuracy rolls and then i can just kind of make some decisions based on that it might be that you're trying to make a de decision on where do i throw my glyphs yeah what what do i invest in so this is pretty cool you can also do stuff like uh let's say we only want to look at weapons uh we can look at things like okay my only epics are legendary pieces got mythical in there as well now only show me ones which have got percentage health and um, defensive percentage uh, and it might be that you're looking for items to roll of a specific type and you're like 
okay, have I got any which aren't rolled yet like this one? Maybe it's going to give me what I'm looking for as an option. So you can play around with this. There's, there's plenty you can do with it. Um, but a lot of people just use it for the artifact rating is actually pretty damn solid for that. Um, okay, so on to the main event then. The team optimizer has been around for a while. Um, and what we've changed, one of the big things we've changed as part of this patch is, uh, let's say you're, uh, sorry, let me do that. Let's say you're trying to upgrade your current team. So if I copy my last used clan boss team, yeah, and I, I want to upgrade this. And then you're like, oh, hold on a minute. I need to go and lock someone else. So I need to go back to my champion page and lock a Serga, for example, and then go back into the team optimizer. What it used to do before today is delete all of your work that you've done. And you're like, I've got to start again. Not anymore. It keeps the last thing you were doing unless you hit reset and it will give you a, a clean slate. The small quality of life things, I think we're so good at getting them done timely. Yeah, it's such a quality improvement to see that stuff. Also, what you get from this page, which is new, is the stats of what you're fighting. So the Demon Lord, if I'm fighting him on Ultra Nightmare, it tells me here his defense number, 1520. His accuracy, 225. Not that you can resist anything from him. Um, his resistance, 225. So it gives you a, a guide around the accuracy that you need yeah and that's for any of the different bosses and stuff finite if i'm looking at stage 20 tells me his accuracy therefore how much resistance i would need to best it it tells me his resistance and therefore how much accuracy i would need to best it also tells me his defense and stuff so when you've selected a team like this if you you have to make sure you click optimize here when you're going from uh, a copy last used team you say which ones you want to optimize. You might actually only want to optimize two of them because the other three you're fine with. You might just think, I wonder if I got a bit more damage from my Brado or whatever. And then it kind of takes you through the same stuff we've just seen for the individual champions. Yeah, so the slots are there, the sets are there. All of the things that we've just seen me do on an individual champion, you can do here. Do it for damage, do it for survivability, all the same. If you didn't watch that part, go back and watch the part where I optimize a champion and you'll see all of the options used for that. Uh, equipment's in here in terms of what they're currently wearing steals bits in here as well so if you want to see their damage change and then all of the options around the masteries the glyphage everything else is in here as well so everything i could do before we can do on this page and that's if you want to upgrade your current teams but the new thing the new absolutely insane thing suggest team so the team have been working on this as i say for the last um well a few months to try and hone it to a point where it's really really effective for you so what i could do is i could pick any dungeon any faction war um level um the doom tower it will only pick up your current rotation of doom tower hydra i could pick anything up and just be like right show me options for my account so and, and the options come from other people that use the optimizer so all the time this tool is running for me or for you or for anyone else that's using the optimizer all the time that's running whilst you're running raid and running dungeons is collecting the info of your success rate uh your your times that you take to run a dungeon is collecting it if you don't want to do that by the way you can turn it off account settings you can just click enable private teams and it will delete or not show any of your previous data to anyone else okay so we don't want to take stuff which people don't want to give but this is a community tool for the community okay so as soon as you do this you will not be able to use the team optimizer either in terms of suggesting teams yeah if you're not prepared to share with others then don't expect to to gain others info either okay so click this and it will just disable all of that team sharing stuff but if you have it as, as default, then it will be enabled. Um, so what I could do, I could go to Hydra. I could say, right, show me uh, on, I don't know, let's say hard Hydra. It tells me the defense of the enemy. Or in fact, I could put it in here. So we know some of this info. I think the defense of the enemy for Hydra is, is huge, honestly. Let's put average 5K, whatever. Um, now I go into suggest team and I can do a number of things on this page. So it's telling me, different teams that people have run it tells me uh how many kind of variations of this team exist 
what's the number of battles that these teams have fought and what's the average damage that that team has done to the level that you're facing um so i can actually say look don't tell me the, the highest number of battles at top tell me the best damage yes yeah, so i can hit boss damage at the top and it's like damn this fella's hit for 85 million maybe i want to grab his team yeah or, or whatever it, like you can do whatever you want just looking down but all of these teams have got champions that you own that aren't locked right now there's a few other things you can do here so i can say only show me battles recently so you know shamal's had this nerf so maybe some of these old numbers are now irrelevant only show me stuff from seven days ago uh, also i don't want to see anything with less than 10 million damage um and i don't want to see teams that have run less than five battles so i want to make sure there's some consistency of winning i also want to exclude my locked champions i only want to look at champions that are six star ascended so i don't have to do a load more leveling first and i don't want people that are just doing manual teams yeah i want to i want to see auto teams all of those things in apply the filter and uh, i probably don't get anything let's take off the manual teams for hydra apply filter let's take the damage back what what's going wrong okay so it's actually number of battles has pulled me back there i guess because there's only been one battle in the last week makes some sense um so yeah so it tells me then from my champions i could go ahead and build these teams now if you are a premium member you you're going to get a whole bunch of more stuff which i'll show you in a minute if you're a free-to-play member totally cool by the way no problem with it at all um you will you will see the speeds of all of these champions that, that you can optimize from yes yeah, so you will see the speeds and uh you can copy these champions to your optimizer bam copies them in and also it will copy the speed that they were running for the build that you've just seen yeah so bam all copied over so if i go back into suggest team function um let me just put some of those bits back on by filter so if i'm a paid member i can actually see the full details of that team it's insane so what am i seeing here i'm seeing how long did the run last for what's the average boss damage um what gear sets are these champions running if you don't know what it is just hover over it swift parry and resilience here um i'm seeing her stats i'm seeing the speed she's running the resistance they're running at i'm also seeing the um mastery builds yeah i'm seeing a lot i'm seeing the ai setup if it's going to be an auto comp probably more relevant for dungeons right now or maybe clan boss i see the lot i see everything i need now i will tell you there's a couple of things we want to improve one of which is this page once i'm at this page if i go to optimize i don't see this page again so at the moment i would suggest you take a screenshot of the team you're trying to build and just keep it to one side so that you can keep referring back to it if you want to the Hydra one's a bit different because we've got six champions to build. But if we go back into, um, let's just copy that over across. Let's go uh, reset this. Go into a normal dungeon. So let's say Spider, stage 25. Um, suggest a team. Show me a team with at least a 99% success rate. I don't want a team that takes any more than one minute. Um, and I want to see a team that's had at least 10 victories. Show me the fastest win rate on top. Apply the filter. And all of a sudden I've got, right, a 30 second team that I could build here. So if I click into this one and view the full details, then it's kind of, uh, maybe I can just like reduce the size of it and get it into one screenshot. Yeah, so that I can at least take one screenshot and bam, I've got something which I can use whilst i'm building out the team if i need to yeah so that's what we want to be able to do and we will do it in the future is like a toggle function where you can toggle between the, the team you're trying to build and the actual optimized page um but from here i can say right copy it to the optimizer it will copy across as i say the speeds and the champions and then you will need to go in 
and decide if you want to copy their gear sets or not. Is it is that important to you? Probably isn't for some of these, but for some things it will be important. Um, and you can also look at your screenshot and be like, right, what other stats do I feel like were important to get the success rate here? So there's still a, an element of own brain, yeah, but it's um, utilizing uh, the other people in the community and their knowledge and their teams to to help you out. There's some cool stuff when I look at stuff like Dragon Twenty Five suggest teams. You got like a couple of the um, you know the the guys here that do the soloing. Uh, I've I've also seen solo from Eurogrim here. Um, pretty sure we've seen Torture Helm as well as as like a solo comp. Which anyway, you end up seeing some cool stuff which perhaps you weren't aware that you even had. Um, and you might be like, yeah, only show me 100% success rate. Uh, don't care about the time. And you start to see some comps that you could run. Yeah. And, and find ones which are relevant to you. So there's absolutely tons of stuff you could do with this. It is mind-blowingly cool. Um, and for me, what's, what's perhaps even more cool is what could happen for the next steps. So... As I say, we could start to run tournaments once we get all of the interface locked in for it, where we're like, right, we're going to do a tournament this week. Dragon 20, you have to run two rares, two epics and a legendary. Um, and it might be something like uh, you have to turn the tournament mode on for 10 runs. And that's your 10 run period. And the fastest uh, average time for those 10 runs uh, wins. Yeah, and, and we have like a leaderboard going for that type of stuff. It could be extremely cool, very fun, uh, tons that this now opens up for us to do. But um, I guess, look, thank you to the, the team. Yeah, this doesn't happen without the team. So you can do everything that you need to do for free. But there's some real nice perks, which are the premium upgrades. Um, if you decide to go premium, uh, all I would say is log out, log back in, and you'll find it will be active once you've, once you've done the, the premium upgrade. But um, it's actually, it goes to the development team. Yeah, we've got a development team. They're well paid and so, and rightly so. Um, and, you know, they continue to work on this stuff nonstop. Like we've got way, a kind of list of stuff to do is still way longer than the, the list of stuff that is done because we want to keep pushing this thing on. So, look, there you go, guys. That's, that's a pretty long over, overriding kind of piece around the optimizer, but it's such a wicked tool. Um, and good luck. Enjoy the suggested team stuff. Feedback to us on the Hell Hades Discord. There's a section in there for optimizer discussion. Uh, it's really active. It's really active and it's monitored. So we help people out that are struggling, but also we um, we listen to suggestions and we try and get them in uh, if they're good stuff as, as quickly as we can. So I've been Hell Hades. Enjoy it. 2022 off with a bang. I will see you later.